A vehicle like the Corvette has very demanding track uh, requirements. So we need a world-class lubrication system. A conventional vehicle has a passive system where oil that's distributed through the engine passively drains back from the various places of the engine and is ultimately collected in the oil pan. In a dry sump system, the oil is actively harvested by scavenge pumps and forcibly pumped from the engine out to an external reservoir. At high engine speeds, every time an engine rotates, the gas wind velocities in the crankcase will actually exceed 100 miles per hour. That tornado of wind causes the oil to froth. When you have a drive sub system, it also gives you confidence that you can take the inertial loads that you encounter on a track. You know, the oil sloshing around in turns or overheaves and really make sure that you can maintain oil pressure at the critical lubrication points in the engine while you're really working it hard and really working it hot. The reason we made it standard in this generation car is it allowed us to lower the engine and transmission as low as possible. And this really lowers the center of gravity of the car, which helps in handling. That lower position enables us to mount directly to the new DCT transaxle to have direct alignment for us to take the energy from the engine and transmit it directly through the transmission into the rear axle. Corvette never disappoints. All your worries go away with one strike of the accelerator pedal. <laughs>